Hi everybody, the PT Doctor Mike Denny in Bowling Green, Kentucky. It's back. Anyway, today I'm gonna um, I'm uploading a YouTube video and an instruction on how to create a shortcut on your desktop or anywhere. Basically, how to watch your your local news at six and ten um, automatically. Have your PC open that web page for you. Um, this is uh, as a result of our local. TV station with it has just the best weather around and, and good local reporting. WBKO is uh, looking like they're discontinuing discontinuing their desktop feature. That's the little free app that runs uh, computer app that runs down in your tray at the bottom right of your PC desktop. I've never liked those anyway. I was hooked on the Google desktop for years until I realized how much resources it was using on your computer every boot and I, as a routine I, I would actually have it not come up automatically when I maintained and, and cleaned up computers. So, But I really do like our, our local weather reports and actually I, I actually do have several shortcuts uh, to specific uh, topics on the local uh, news site in my Google Chrome folder for news. So it's a drop down menu for me. You can do those two if you want, but one in particular I'm going to show you how to do today is find your local TV stations or any local uh, streaming station you have. Find their live streaming option. Ours shows up. Uh, you can go there any time during the day, but it only gives you video several times during the day, like at six, uh, you know, twelve noon, six p.m. at night, six six p.m. you know, six and ten at night. So basically those two are the ones I'm focusing on and the rest I'm just going to show you on my desktop how I'm doing this. It's a really simple routine. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to want to open your uh, Google Chrome or your web browser and find your local station or any station's website. You can do this any, you know, just any web shortcut will do. Here's our local station, and here right up top is the live streaming function of that website. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go there, and I'm going to show you where I'm going to click. I'm going to right click on this, and I'm going to copy that shortcut, that web address. Okay, so having done that, we go back to our desktop. Now that I'm back at the desktop, I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to do new shortcut. Now, a lot of people don't even know you can do this, but you can paste where you just were on the internet and you can make a shortcut a lot of people do know this <laughs> too uh, but anyway you're gonna name it something specific so you can remember it and there it is so here's what happens when you open it and I had to right click it to get it to work been having trouble with my desktop myself so go open it usually just double click it and this is just showing you that it opens that web page you were just at. okay folks very important here is that uh, I'm gonna use the I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do but I'm gonna tell you why I'm not gonna do something else uh, everybody most people have probably heard about the window of uh, the Windows task scheduler it's hidden some places some OS's some versions of Windows it's hidden in the control panel I'm just gonna show you how to open it and but and I wanna show you how to schedule this particular web page to open but in order to do so, you can't just say, I want to schedule a task and have that desktop shortcut we just created open. You, there's a little interim step. You've got to create a batch file. It's very simple. It's simpler for most many people than it is for me. Many techs, I just have to remember how to do certain things, and it's just real simple for me. To do that, we're going to open Notepad. Okay, even though I have Notepad shortcut on my desktop, I'll show you how to get it. Just type in, uh, go to the bottom, start button, type in notepad, and it opens. This is a very simple batch file. You're going to say start I explore, Internet Explorer is, is what you're going to start. And we're going to copy, uh, I right clicked on that shortcut that we created. We're going to copy where we want it to go. That's where that shortcut went. And we're going to save this, but remember not to save it as text. Remember to select all files and to type in bat so name it whatever but the type of file the file extension you're going to use is dot bat dot bat okay 
So now that you do this, this is the proper shortcut to schedule using Task Scheduler. And uh, I'm going to save it as such. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to find out where it went. And then that's the next step. This next step is the hardest for some people, but it's really quite simple if you follow the directions. Go to your Start button, type in your search again. This time you're going to look for Task Scheduler. And we're going to open that. We're going to create a task to, that will actually run the shortcut we created. Okay, so you create task. And we're going to name it again. I'd name it the same thing. And, uh, or, you know, whatever your new site is named. Whatever you want it to be, basically. And then the next step is to tell it what will trigger it to open. That is, what you want to open the web, when you want it to open, what you want to cause it to open. Well, we just want it to run daily at 6 and 10 p.m. So I'm going to type in 6, use my right arrow to get over in the second field, double zero, double zero, click OK. And of course I want it to open again at 10 p.m. Uh, for the nightly news, the uh, late news. Same thing, 10 o'clock. And click OK on that. Now that that's done, we want to tell it what we want it to do. Don't forget, we're going to browse to the actual file on our desktop. We want it that batch file, not the Windows Internet Explorer shortcut, but the batch file is more like a verb. It tells it what 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 it's going to do. So now that I you do this, I'm going to right click it, and I'm going to show you what it will do at six and ten. And it takes just a second. It opens the website. And what browser you open, if there is material to be seen, like is shown on the right hand side of my page, it'll it'll show it. And that's pretty much it, folks. Um, whatever browser uh, is your default browser is what page, wh what browser will open when you tell it to open a web page. So you can go into, if you like Google Chrome or Firefox, Internet Explorer, you saw Internet Explorer open on my example, that's because Windows still uh, thinks that it's it's the default. I would prefer Google Chrome, but I can do that if I want to later. Uh, for anybody who's good enough at command at command language and command line interpreter, uh, you can you know of course then you can edit that same batch file, saving it the same name the same way uh, to do to close after 1800 seconds, which would be perfect for a 30 minute uh, news broadcast at 6 and 10. So that's uh, for somebody else and this is just a simple instructional I don't want to scare people away when I don't know it that well uh, but basically you know your your commands for that you text out there it's just a simple idea and I hope people use it thanks <laughs>